I didn't bring the other camera, but I'm headed off to get the truck tire change this morning, and at least I got to see this going over the Skyway Bridge. What a beautiful morning. Even if I am up at the butt crack of dawn to change the tire. All right, current situation. We are here. There's the truck. The tire needs to be replaced. Lots of traffic. It's shredded. So let's see if I can get this wheel off and get us home. All right, wheels all changed. Didn't take me long to knock it off there. I had the wheels powder coated, I don't know, a few years back. And that powder coat will like seize itself on the hub. And so I had to, uh, I had to hammer it pretty hard to get it off there. But it's off and the spare tire is on. I'm headed back to Port Charlotte. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get some new tires on the truck today. Huh, not the way I wanted to start my Wednesday morning of vacation. But it is what it is. Maybe there's something to Angie's theory that me doing these daily vlogs is creating more drama and excitement to our lives. Um, I don't know, but never had this much drama and excitement in, in a month's time in my life. So maybe there is something to it. Anyway, I better pay attention to driving. See you in a few. So yeah, I go rescue them from Tampa and this, this is what they end up doing. They're at home in the hot tub. Some of us have stuff to do. They are in the hot tub. Just laying around. <laughs> There's some guy in the backyard too. <laughs> you guys glad that little blocker's there? All right, I gotta go. All right guys, so I just talked to Wrangler Fix. Um, they told me to send the ECM back to them. They will tear it back apart and see if they can get it fixed. So I've got to get it out of the Jeep, get it back in the box and get it sent back to them so they can get it fixed this weekend. So for now, the Jeep is on hold. Uh, I just got to get that ECM out. Uh, let's get that done and then we'll go from there. I might as well have a zipper on this. It took me all of about three minutes to pull this thing out of there. At least it's not hard to put in and take out. All right, well, day 31 did not take the turns I expected. So I missed my workout this morning because uh, instead of working out, as you'll see in this video here, I was headed to St. Pete, Florida. Two cars at the same time, making lots of noise. Anyway, I was headed to St. Pete uh, because uh, any of you guys that follow along with me um, or that don't, Mama Badger was headed home in the Badger Mobile last night and she had this happen. Yeah, that is the right front tire. I mean, but really, no big deal, right? It's just a tire. You're going to replace it. So she's about, I don't know, hour and 15 minutes away from where I was at. Um, we have State Farm, which has roadside assistance. And then um, in Florida, there are also, can you even see me? I feel like I'm really dark. Hey, that's better. Um, anyway, in Florida, they have the Road Rangers. So first off, she called State Farm. State Farm said, well, you're out of some kind of area. She didn't even understand it. It's going to be 95 bucks. I was like, fuck it, just pay it, we'll figure it out later. So she pays the 95 bucks, and then on this little app thing, they match her with somebody that's supposed to help, right? Okay, so um, the app is not matching her with anybody. This is at like six o'clock last night. Honestly, guys, I should've just went up and did it myself. So anyway, six o'clock, um, it's not matching her with anybody. She calls the road rangers. They're like, they take all of her information. Yeah, we'll be there. So I guess it's probably two hours later, um, a cop shows up, pulls in behind Ange and says, he's talking to her and she's like, I've called them and I've called them. And he's like, yeah, the road rangers aren't coming if they ain't here within two hours. So he's like, you're gonna have to move though. So he followed her as she limped it 
down the side of the road because she's on a bridge. She's on the Skyway Bridge in St. Pete. So he's trying to get her off the road a little further, which he does. And then probably an hour after that, the guy we paid 95 bucks for, he shows up. <laughs> he shows up. He cannot get the wheel off of the truck. He he had a hammer he pounded on it he could not get it off so eventually he just gives up and um he takes angie and neve who's also with mama badger um to the rest stop which is like a mile from where the truck was broken and uh so he takes her to the rest stop and uh <laughs> They at least get to go to the bathroom. But both the girls are freezing. Um, Baby Badger, she works in St. Pete at Ford's Garage. So they're calling her and she gets off at like 10. So finally at like 10.30 last night, the girls get picked up. They just left the truck sitting on the side of the road overnight. So I get up this morning, grab all my tools, I go up there and uh, I have the wheel off the truck in about five minutes. Now mind you, um, there's an issue with my wheels. So a lesson for everybody. If you ever have your wheels powder coated, which is what I did, I took my original stock wheels and I had them powder coated. If you ever do that, make sure that they don't powder coat your mounting surface so you can see here where it's all shiny it's shiny because I took a tool and I cleaned that off because basically the wheel had welded itself to the hub so I mean I had to take a BFH big fucking hammer and knock that off um, so that it would come off. Now the funny thing is, I was like, I better check the other three. I took all three of those off when I got home. Guess what? If it would have been any, any of those three, he'd have had no problem getting it off. Um, those we'd already, <laughs> I thought the guy that originally put these on had already taken a tool and cleaned all that. Um, he did, all but this one. So if it had been any of the others, they would have been able to remove it just fine. But then Angie starts telling me about the guy that came to help her. Um, super nice guy. So if you watch this, I don't know your name, but if you're watching this, Mama said you were a super nice guy and please don't take offense to this. But she said he showed up in a Prius. Right? I mean, you called a like a tow truck company, right? Roadside assistance roadside assistance showed up in a Prius not a tow truck not even a pickup truck I mean you would think they would send a tow truck right because look if we can't fix the wheel we can tow your ass somewhere what am I missing here guys please in the comments below tell me what I'm missing why would you not send a freaking tow truck if you know there's a truck sitting alongside of the road I do not get that I mean, where's the service all gone <laughs> in this world? Anyway, rant over. Uh, I got the truck home. I've got new tires coming. And do you know what the truck needed a little TLC anyway? I'll tell you what, guys. This truck has been in my life since 2001. I bought it when it was like four years old. And it's got 300,000 miles on it. And besides the tire, like it has never left me alongside the road in 20 plus years. This truck is just a badass. Um, I love it because I can fix anything on it. Um, man, if I had a tire machine, I'd mount and balance my own tires, trust me. Um, but it's just one of those pickups that just keeps going and going and going. It's trusty and uh, you know, it's, it's old, so I don't really care. Um, if I put a ding in it or a dent or a scratch or that just adds character, right? But anyway, it's been a great truck. If you ever get a chance to buy you a T100 in the mid 90s, man, you just can't go wrong. They're awesome trucks. But anyway, I like the old stuff. Um, 
I can put anything of the newer technology in there I want, but I like keeping it old school. Anyway, I have rambled on and on and on. Thank you for watching today's vlog. Um, what a crazy day. We will see what tomorrow brings. See ya.